question. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Excuse me a minute. Wolf Among Us. We're in episode two, and uh, I don't know what part this is. Uh, one more thing. Get me everything you have on how we've regulated the use of glamours in the past. Of course, Miss Snow. We're about to talk to TJ, but first we're eavesdropping on them a little. I don't think so, Miss Snow. Any more questions? Okay, they're I don't think just... so, Miss Snow. Why are you giving me the option if they're not going to say anything else? Let's talk to Mr. Toad and TJ. <coughs> Sorry, had to cough. Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, vanish, cancel! What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. Right, Bigby? What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shit up. Gross. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. I think he's lying. He lied to me last time. TJ. It's alright. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Poor kiddo. Let's try not to be scary. It's okay. Are you okay? <laughs> go ahead, TJ. He's trying so hard to be nice. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big block. Is that Clementine? I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady. <laughs> mm. I was... I was trying to be nice. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark part. <laughs> He means the cinder blocks. You saw the rope marks. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? Do you know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. It's magic. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. What a so dick. I didn't stay underwater. I don't know. If anyone saw me, but but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Flint, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Did you see who it was? No, oh, I'm sorry. Just have to ask. Did you hear anything else? I don't know. I don't know. It's okay, I'm kiddo. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there, and I ran home. That's all. I promise. I believe you. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Poor kid. Thank you, TJ. 
Okay, son. Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. Jeez. Everything okay? We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. This guy Bigby seems like a racist. Can't let her go out there with you. It's non-human. Her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. Snow wants to come with me. I'm not gonna stop her. I want her by my side. She'll protect me. Ready? Yeah. But yeah, Crane seems like he doesn't like non-human folks. He didn't like the trolls. Slam the door on the toads. Who knows who this else he hates? This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have a hot <coughs> And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Jack, as in uh, the beanstalk. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. Jack the beanstalk. That's his porn name. <laughs> this will do. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? It's a weird guy. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. Is that true, love? Yes. It's true. Is he so a sadist or is he involved all the possible and knows that it's Holly's sister? Why would you arrest the poor old woodsman who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Baby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got <coughs> here. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Both of you, listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister. Holly sister's dead. She's the one we found early this morning. I don't think you'd really be gentle with these things. If you're direct, uh, it's a little better, I guess. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. It's not her fault. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you gave one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. <sighs> Poor
Poor Holly. Let's end this off here before we start talking to her. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.